Welcome in this tutorial of modeling ship hills with Grasshopper Visual Scripting plugin for Rhino. As I mentioned in the demo video, the script is created by several people from several companies and you can download it as open source script from Rhino Report blog. After you've downloaded it, you can try out yourself and even customize the script to your own needs. In this tutorial, I will show more in detail several parameters defining the shape of this hull shape and how you can bake an end result hull surface. First, I take a look at this Grasshopper remote control panel and as Grasshopper is still in development and therefore free to download and use yourself. The limitation in this version of Grasshopper is that the parameters cannot be organized like you want them to be. Fortunately important parameter construction waterline is positioned at top and the construction waterline is the blue curve displayed in the ship hull. If you also watch this volume displacement parameter you see that it is updating in real time when you drag the slider. Furthermore, a real-time lines plan is displayed over here at starboard side and the next three parameters make it possible to adjust the amount of, for example, the water lines, buttocks and ordinates. The hull is scripted fully parametrical and therefore there is one parameter called length which adjusts the overall position of the input curves over here so I can for example make the hull a little smaller and again you see that the displacement is updating in real time and also the length center of buoyancy and the vertical center of buoyancy is updating in real time. If I'm satisfied with the overall length the next parameter is the position of the bow contour and as you can see I can again change the overall length of the hull but only the bow contour curves are manipulated and not the curves over here they are stationary in this parameter called bow contour oops like this then there is this forward shoulder parameter and that defines the position, the length position of this curve. So I can move it aft or forward and define the fullness of the foreship of this hull. As you can understand, we can define every position of the curves to the aft ship. Also, we can define more in detail the size, for example, of the bulbous bow. Here we find the bulb width parameter, and I can make the bulb wider or less wide. 
length of the bulb can easily be adjusted and as you also see it's useful that the real-time lines plan display is updated instantly when I change the bulb another important particular is the propeller clearance in the aft ship so we can make it larger or smaller as we like it when we are happy with the end result we can so call bake the end result therefore I will introduce only a part of the script as I will show the script in the next tutorial video more in detail but what I'm going to do is I select the port and the starboard side of the script components as you can see the preview is now green and I bake the shape to the result hull shape this is a very high quality and fair hull which you can use in the design process further as I mentioned before in the next tutorial video I will explain the script itself Thank you for watching.